My name is Jimmy Pedro. Welcome to Pedro's Judo Center. I'm here today with BJJ Weekly to share my judo techniques with you. I was a four-time Olympian and I'm the 2012 U.S. Olympic team coach for the sport of judo. One of the secrets to the success of our judo program here at Pedro's Judo Center is our gripping strategy. In fact, I put together a book and a DVD which is Grip Like a World Champion. Uh, you can, it's available at jimmypedro.com. We're going to take you inside some of the sec secrets of grip fighting. Essentially, this is, in judo, the most important aspect of the game because it is the very first thing you do when you fight, is you grab hold of your opponent's gi. The philosophy is, if I can get a hold of his gi without him getting a hold of mine, then I'm obviously one step ahead of the game. Okay, so. Control of your opponent is key in the sport of judo. We're going to flip around. And in jiu-jitsu as well. I think that what people don't understand is that just because I grab him doesn't mean that he has to grab me. What we like to do is we like to control our opponent's wrists whenever possible. So if I come out to play and he reaches with that hand, I don't let him grab my uniform. In fact, I take the wrist instead of taking the gi because if I grab the gi, he can still reach my my uniform. Instead, when he reaches, I grab the wrist and when I secure this uniform, I take all the slack out of that gi and I pin that wrist down. Now if you notice, as he tries to catch my sleeve, I'm not going to give it up. I'm going to control that wrist so he can never take hold of my, my, my uniform. What that allows is it allows, gives me full control of my opponent's movement and position. So even if he attempts to jump guard, which he does not know how to do because he's not a jiu -jitsu guy, but I can nullify him pulling me in the guard just by controlling his wrist here. Okay, at the same time, I can dictate his movement and where I, where I want him to go by controlling that, that wrist. Okay, so what most people will do is they'll grab the sleeve and then the opponent will automatically grab the sleeve. Now we're in a 50-50 situation. The better person wins when it's 50-50. When it's 90-10 or you know, 80, 20, whatever you want to call this position, the person who has the better grip, even if they're not as skilled, will typically win the exchange. And that's what the key to gripping is. Controlling your opponent without giving him control of you. Okay? Con uh, likewise, if somebody does get a hold of your uniform, inside control is very important. In other words, if I want to try to throw my opponent and I'm out from the outside, it's difficult for me to get to his body because he can just push me away. You can see I can't make body contact and I can't get close enough to do any damage here. So one of the keys is to play from the inside position. So if I was here, I want to work myself to an inside position, which now this allows me, whenever I want to attack, I can, I can pull him in closer to me. But when he goes to attack, I can, I can stop his movement by having that inside control. Very important in terms of positioning and control and who's going to win the throwing battle or the takedown game is how we control the sleeve and what position we control because this allows me to control all of his body if I control his shoulders. So inside position and sleeve control.